In AutoCAD mobile app, we usually don't use the X line because it's not is it is not available. But now we will going to create a line in the far distant. Okay, make sure that you will going to for about at least twenty to thirty the distance as you can see here. It's actually six hundred point something. So I will going to zoom in for about less than fifty. Oh, yeah, just like this one less than 100 and then you're just going to create a vertical line and a horizontal line and then after that we have created our center line we're just going to offset it by two both side, the horizontal and the vertical line. And then first, let's create the top view of our orthographic projection. The top view here. So let's just indicate the lines or the measurements of it. Okay, you can actually use the measure to check the accuracy of your drawing. Okay, using that endpoint, let's just going to create a horizontal line with 10. This is of 10 because we have the, me the measurement of 10, then 4 and then 1.5. And then we were just going to close this area. And then after that, we're just going to trim the all excess lines for our top view. using the command PR enter and then after that we're going to create now our top view based on our figure so this is actually 1.5 then we will go into create for about two horizontal and then vertical of 1.5 up and then we're just going to mirror it on the other side so select the lines and then MI and mirror using this triangle as our reference for midpoint. Then going down and then you just not erase, don't erase the source. And then after that, finish the top view of your figure. And then you're just going to trim all the excess line for the top view and then we're done doing the top view of our drawing. For the front view of our figure, we're just going to create a very very long line just like this one, just like 20. 20 measure of 20 line a vertical line because we will going to create a front line vertically from the top view and then we're just going to copy this line all over the figure here in top view because this is gonna be our reference for the vertical measurement of our front view and then just using the end point of the figure 
let's just have to paste or copy the lines of vertical and then after that we're going to indicate the measurement of our horizontal line in front of you using the reference here and then we're just going to create like for about a two vertical of two two and then 1.5 and then just going to create a horizontal going there and a vertical going up to close our figure and then we're just going to trim all the excess line using the tr and then there's just going to create all other details of our front view then trim all the excess lines For the side view of our orthographic projection, we actually need a 45 degrees angle as the reference for our side view. That's why we will going to create first the horizontal, all the horizontal measurement from the right view. We will going to transfer it inside view using the vertical, using of this line. We will going to copy a, a horizontal, rather horizontal lines. And then from our center line, we will going to create a 45, 45 degrees lines. So just like um, the old, older um, settings such as we're going to change by 45 degrees tracking our polar tracking using this one and then we're going to create a 45 using the reference 45 or the green with the green um, green lines just um, what they call this follow it and then we're just going to create a line of horizontal like this one we're just going to copy passing through the 45 degrees that we have created and also after that from that um, 45 degrees that we have created we will going to create a vertical line going to the side view and then we will going just to create the detail of our side view and then ex all the excess line we're just going to delete all of these by using trim and then also the erase commands okay
after that we have created our top view, front view, and side view, we're just going to create the label of it by using empty our M text and then we're just going to have or to type top view the front view and the side view for this uh, video it's not actually don't have the application for layers because for the next video I will going to do that for you okay so just like this and make sure that you do it um, in a nice way just like this one again for that uh, command for text you will going to use MT and then enter just going to create this kind of by one measure of one of text fonts the font text so just uh, like this one oh. um, the AA between the AA is actually one the measure of our text is one and just stretch out of it so that it's actually the same all of that okay